Halloween, a day to be whatever you want. But as a lifter, we can abuse this power. Let's discuss Halloween costumes that will show your gains off in the best way possible. By best way possible, I mean pushing the limits of human decency laws. We will be picking costumes to show off the most amount of skin possible without being naked. Rating lifter Halloween costumes on a scale of one to five. This is Sparta! How could you not feel powerful in a Spartan costume? How could you not feel like Leonidas walking into every function that you are going to that night? The great thing about this costume is you are showing off enough skin to show off the gains, but it's also really cool. I can absolutely guarantee with 100% certainty, the beast training stamp of approval that you will have the coolest costume in the entire party if you do the Spartan right. Bonus points if you and your gym bros or maybe some of your homies show up to a party all in Spartan gear. Show up as an army and run that shit. A definite five out of five rating. I can already hear the chants coming from the beer pong table. <gasps> Oh my god, Ronnie. Hear me out, hear me out. I know y'all saw that screen. And yes, I'm telling you to dress like a gym babe. Hear me out, okay? How in normal life, day-to-day -day life, do you show off the most amount of skin possible? That's right, be a woman in the gym. You can get away with having 10% of your body covered, essentially, right? So if our goal today is to pick costumes to show off the gains, while showing the most amount of skin off while avoiding human decency, dressing up as a gym babe is the best option. But listen, you can't be going into a party dressing up like a girl by yourself, right? I mean, you could, but I don't know if that'd be very funny. Get yourself a girl, so that's your girlfriend, maybe someone you're talking to or going, you know is going to that party. Have them dress up like a gym dude and you dress up like a gym babe. And you really look like an absolute tank if you are in booty shorts and a sports bra, huh? you look like an absolute tank. Someone commented on one of my TikToks calling girls a Jim Stacy. So go to a party dressed up like a Jim Stacy, bring her a girl that's dressed up like a gym dude, and it'll be absolutely hilarious. Five out of five rating. Aang, also known as the powered up Caillou. Aang is a great pick. Yes, I'm not a fan of mainstream anime. Aang is different. He's actually cool. You're gonna have to pick an outfit for Aang that actually shows off your body, but he does have a few and you can get away with it that will show off your gains impeccably. There's only one real hiccup in dressing up like Aang, and that's gonna be you have to get rid of your hair. What? So that gives you a few options. You can either one, be actually bald, then you don't have to do anything. Two, get a bald cap, boring. Or three, maximum respect out of me, shave your head. If you go through the, with this costume and you shave your head, maximum respect. That's maximum dedication. You deserve an applause. I'm gonna rate Aang four out of five purely because it's hard to pull off because of the hair. Also, it's an anime, so yeah. Superheroes and supervillains, talk about being basic and boring. Oh, you wanna dress up like Bang. Okay, awesome. Superman, okay, cool. People are seeing those characters for like the 100 billionth time. Nobody cares. Sure, these costumes may accomplish your goal of showing off that amount of skin and showing off the gains. But like I said, like these people are seeing these costumes for the quadrillionth time. Nobody's looking at you. You're nothing special. Damn. And chances are, you can't even accomplish the physique. Sorry to break it to you. These dudes are drawings in comic books. You can't achieve their physique. Oh, you wanna look like Bane? Actually impossible. There's no one on earth that looks like Bane. Maybe besides like Ronnie Coleman. Rating one out of five, don't be lame. There is one exception to my rule though, and that's if you are willing to jump in a bucket of green paint and be the Hulk, like that movie in, what was it, the 60s? If you go through that much dedication, again, respectable, you may push it up to a, a two out of five. If you are enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, comment what you're being for Halloween this year because I need help. I don't have a costume yet, so I need some inspiration. Beachwear includes lifeguards, surfers, anything like that. It gets the job done, shows off your gains, obviously, because that matches what 
the outfit is for a surfer or lifeguard. And it's super affordable, which is very nice. Chances are you probably already have swim trunks in your dresser or closet. However, it's super basic and it's very clear what your goal is. It's very clear you just wanna have your shirt off. And also I live in Vegas, so it's still 70 plus degrees on Halloween night. But if you live anywhere else in the country or the world, chances are it's not 70 degrees on Halloween night. So having your shirt off might not be the best idea. Three out of five, it's pretty average. Cal Drogo is an absolutely deep cut. I also hope I pronounced that name right. I can't remember from when I watched Game of Thrones. It's actually pronounced Call, you thick skull motherfucker. However, you do have to have a specific build for it. You can't just be anyone to pull this costume off. But this is an absolutely astounding costume if you can pull it off and you do it because it is badass. Also, it's rarely done. I've never seen a single person in this costume. So chances are people are gonna ask you what you are. Easy conversation starter. Another plus to this one is it's not too difficult to get the stuff for. You just have a shirt off. You just need some body paint and whatever he has, like the skirt thing. Uh, and you could probably either make that from home or get it from somewhere, maybe another costume if they don't have actual all Drogo costumes. Rating four out of five because it is difficult to pull off. So it can't be a five out of five because you do have to have specific facial hair for it as well. Like my baby faced, can't grow a beard looking ass cannot be Cal Drogo. Weeb! Uncreative! Everyone and their weightlifting fathers want to be anime characters, dude. Do not be an anime character, especially mainstream. Boring, super overdone, debatably cooler than superheroes. I'm not sure. I prefer superheroes. And again, you can't get close to their physique, dude. Their drawings. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know you want to look like an anime character, but you can't. Physically impossible. Yeah, I'm a hater. Get over it. I don't care. Rating one out of five. I'm too sexy for this, sir. All right, so sexy costumes include, you know, cop, bartender, whatever the hell. These can be good costumes in certain and very specific situations. Do not, and I repeat, do not show up to a family function in a sexy Halloween costume. It will not go well, I absolutely promise. Unless you're into that type of thing. Stop watching my videos if you are. With the right group, these costumes can be incredible. With the wrong ones, absolutely the worst costume on the list. It is very, very clear what your goal is here. You definitely want to show off your gains. But like I said, if you're pulling up to like a frat party, I mean, you're not gonna get that much hate for it. But there is one caveat to this, and that is you're gonna have to be fighting boyfriends all night because their girlfriend's gonna be all up on you. Three out of five, pretty average. This might be the coolest costume on the list. I don't even know if some of y'all know who Duke Nukem is. If you don't, maybe look up his games. His games are pretty cool. But what you really wanna look up is his character because if you can pull off Duke Nukem, this is the perfect mix of good costume, absolutely sick, and show off enough gains to, you know. I can absolutely guarantee a very small fraction of people actually know who Duke Nukem is, which is the best part. Again, easy conversation starter. What happens when a baddie comes up to you? What are you? Bang. This one, like I said, is a little conservative though. He doesn't show off that much skin, but it is good if you do want to go a little conservative. You don't want to go all out. You just want to, you know, show off that those arms and the chest and the back. Another plus of this costume, you probably have most of the stuff in your closet. Maybe besides like the ammo sleeve things. I mean, you might have that in your closet, but... I highly doubt many people have an ammo sleeve in their closet. Four out of five because we are very accomplishing the goal of showing off as much skin as humanly possible, but it is a fantastic costume. That sums up rating Halloween costumes for lifters. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy. Be sure to go check out Beast Training Clothing for affordable gym merch, free shipping, super, super comfortable. Have a safe Halloween. Don't go too crazy with the candy. You need to keep your gains. You don't want to lose them all in one night. Embrace chaos and release your beast.